Welcome back to another DF Retro Play. And this time I'm actually joined by Alex Batalia. Woo! Yeah, I just came over to Frankfurt for a couple of days here to work on something. And yeah. we thought it'd be a good time to play one of our kind of favorite early PC games, but differently. Yeah. This time we're looking at Hexen on the Nintendo 64. And we're not just doing it the normal way. So we're going to play in two player co op mode. Mm. Choose your class, Alex. I always play the mage. I really pick. like the character a lot. Uh, we're going to be squires. <laughs> or do you want to be titans? No. Okay, we'll do, we'll do this. So uh, this version is interesting. Yeah, it came out you know, a couple of years after the PC version. Uh, it's sort of like a hardware accelerated version of Hexen. Mm hmm. But so now, obviously, when you play in two player mode, that's why the detail drops to low. So the texture resolution takes a hit. Everything is blurrier. But there's something special about the way we're playing today. Yeah. So first of all, um, I have the real cartridge here, mm -hmm. but we're actually using the EverDrive because I wanted to push down the N64 blur to get it out of the way as much as possible. So basically... I have uh, the N64 RGB mod installed with D-Blur and Gauge, but we're also using uh, one of the uh, code IPS patches to get rid of the extra pass of anti-aliasing. So this is as raw an image as the N64 can provide. Yeah. And it's it means it's very grainy, but it actually works yeah. really well on Hexen. Yeah, this game was designed around, you know, like software rendering on PC with no texture filtering. like all of the Doom Engine games for the most part other than Doom 64. That's um, right. And so it, it, the art looks the best that way. I, although I think in, we're not exactly positive yet, but you were just mentioning like lower detail, but it looks like in the co-op mode, they reduced the resolution of textures. Like your character sprite looks a bit chunkier and so do the That's enemies. That's right. Oh, like but or these two. On the flip side, we do get this uh, cool widescreen presentation of each <laughs> screen. And unlike the PC, like source port versions, they actually moved the fist mm -hmm. for my weapon here off to the side. Because on PC, you would often see the edge of the, <laughs> of the actual artwork because it yeah. wasn't designed to be widescreen. It's it's pretty cool, actually. I'm surprised that they spent the time doing this. It's not usual to see, I would say, two-player co-op with split screen. Or even this game supports up to four-player. So, yeah, that's the craziest thing is you can play this in four-player split-screen co-op. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's actually a really cool feature. And oh, I gotta say, this, damaging. the performance is not perfect in two-player mode, but no. it's surprisingly okay. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, this it's... makes a very reasonable co-op experience. Yeah. So, let's see here. I get these through. potions. I haven't actually. How do I actually use items though? Uh, on the PC, it's like scrolling through them, and it brings up like the. Oh, you can HUD. actually look up and down. Whoa! That means it's real 3D. How did you do that? No, I don't think it's real 3D. Cause look, it's. Is it distorting? Yeah, it's kind of distorting the image. Oh, what look at this! I hit top on the C button. There's a lot of. Oh, there's a Getting map. used to these controls is. Uh, I don't think I want to look up and okay, down. Okay, there we go. That's that's how we change okay. items around. Ooh. Each, each screen has its own uh, frame rate, too, as well. Oh, my gosh. Uh -oh. I'm going to get crushed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, oh, 20 HP. Yeah. This game uh, is... Uh -oh. I guess it's kind of cool to talk about what Hexen is kind of as a game. It's, it's the sequel or spiritual successor to Heretic. That's which, right. From uh, Raven Software. From Raven Software. And I kind of always wanted to call... Heretic more of a Doom clone? It is. And, uh, it plays with, exactly like Doom. Yeah, like the, the different weapons. Like that you start off with some of they use they reuse some of the sprites from this uh, from that game in this one, uh, with like some different color variation. And that game, uh, Heretic, has uh, kind of weapons that are just the exact same as the one in Doom, with just like different sprites almost. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And um, this game oh, though wait, is. Do you have the emerald? Key? I have the emerald key. I think. Oh, yeah. see, this is interesting. They actually. The player that picks up the key is the player with it, which I kind of expected it would give the whole party, so to speak, mm -hmm. but that's actually a cool dynamic thing. I actually do like that a lot, quite a bit too. This game was designed around co-op. Uh, Doom was too as well, but it, it doesn't Oops. have the same kind of item persistence. You have to be careful. I'm trying, to figure, out, me. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to switch items. I uh, Let me see here. 
So left, right, yeah. That's looking up and down. Yeah, uh, but going back uh, to this game's uh, game design, it's it's actually an RPG, but uh, an action RPG in first person. Yeah, exactly. And that would be further expanded upon in Strife on mm, the PC. Yes, very much. So. Which is way more RPG. It actually has dialogue. <laughs> sequences and everything but this is much more like doom plus light rpg elements mm -hmm. which works it's, yeah. it's pretty cool yeah but uh Confusing. it's also post doom 2 i believe yeah uh, this is so doom maps have gotten bigger i i can damage you by the way i have to be very I see careful that, yeah i'm sorry about that um doom maps have gotten bigger and i think Beyond the first level of this game, some of these hexen levels are really big. But also a little bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to get lost uh, when we get to the second level. So that that actually, we'll, we'll get there in a second, but that's what's really interesting about this game. All right, so now we're going through these caves. So here's a trap. Get oh, the key. I, I can pick up too. Wait, let me just grab it. Oh, oh so we can both get the key. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so there's some non-respawnables. Some respawn. Oh. Okay, I'm through. It's a crushing. Can you get through the crusher? This is a classic yeah. Doom puzzle. <laughs> the, there's now, some puzzles in this game, though, that are not classic, though. You can go up here and ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah, there's some puzzles that are not classic. <laughs> so this is, it is really weird with filtered textures. Yeah, especially these, what looks to be lower resolution here. In this there we mode. go. I always like the bell because it's a 3D like an render. 3D rendered object. And I think we then leave. Yeah, we leave. We go back to the beginning. I don't think there's fall damage in there. Yes. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Darn. Uh, uh, so, yeah. I'll wait for you. Do we have to figure out how to change uh, items? Because that's important to beat the game. Yeah, what's going on here? Let's is look it Z? Options. No way. Control, Control stick. Auto center. Uh, well, that's for looking up and down. Yeah, auto center is good. Don't want to... This is weird. I guess, okay, R, A shoots, B jumps, is a jump. Uh, so there's the map. So you have the armor right now that you, I think you, there's different items you can activate. There's persistent items in this game, which is different than That's Doom. Right. Uh, so you have an inventory that you can use. Uh, which I don't know if it carries well across levels in co-op. I actually don't think We're gonna find does. out. Uh, but you pick your class in the beginning where you have different access to different weapons that you kind of like get over time throughout the game. And it actually takes a, quite a bit go. longer in this game. That's the end of the level. Um, you have to go through the... Uh, Greetings, mortal. That's, yeah, <laughs> Are I don't you know. ready to die? I, yeah, they have it. Okay, they do keep that. I love this part so much. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? <laughs> uh, we were talking about this earlier. There's some other big differences in this game, too, that surprised me and you and I were getting at. I was like, ugh! Uh, the music's different. It's, uh, I would say, musical variations of the Hexen yes, music. That's, that's the term we came to. Yeah, Basically, yeah. it. we were arguing over, I was saying, <laughs> the first level music was the same as the original, but, like, using different instruments and yeah. different, like pace but you're like no it's completely different <laughs> and then we actually brought it up and it's just so basically it's it uses the same motifs yeah it's clearly derived from the song but it's different that's yeah. the the way we agreed to describe <laughs> it is it's a it's a variation <laughs> we were just like no and you're like yes no I was like yes, no yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god it was great um so that, I do think it sounds a bit less... Uh, it sounds very discordant. Yeah. Because they also added a bunch of random like instrument samples that just like to make it sound more yeah, creepy. Yeah. Or uh, I don't know if it succeeds. Yeah. I like the... I do like Hexen's... This game is like dark, low fantasy. Uh, it's not like uh, your Lord of the Rings and things right. like this. This shares a lot more common with sword and sorcery... Uh, movies and get, like pen and uh, paper games okay, from the from the early switch. '80s and late '70s, in terms of the way it looks, and I I really like that. It's uh, I guess not a lot of games go for really low dark fantasy these days. Yeah, I really like uh, low dark fantasy it's over a, high fantasy yeah, with the elves uh, and with, the king. You know, it's yeah, like, it's it's also like because like uh, sorcery in this game is like 
you know, slightly kind of like metal satanic and like bad. Like the bad guy looks like something straight out of like an Iron Maiden album. Oh yeah, for you know? sure. Uh, no, I can't remember. I, I swear there's a switch somewhere. Oh yeah. I was one, behind well, these, one of these pillars maybe on the other side. Yeah, um, yeah there, there is. We'll actually do this right Let's in a second. Here. Is there a way to strafe? Or uh, not? What the heck? I thought there was... Uh, yeah, there's a way. If you hold the trigger... Uh, trigger and okay. then... <gasps> Oh, what you what you bring up? How did you do that? I hit Z and then I moved uh, the C buttons, and then, oh. and then you just I don't know what you do. You, oh, just let it, it stay just on let screen stay. for a bit. And then how do you use the items? Actually, down on the C or like the C down. Okay, well I don't need the HP, so let me go back to that uh, to the and you know what there's the, there's common the as I was saying earlier there's persistent items across the game and each character when they use certain items like these green vials yeah they do different things like mine places a bomb that oh, explodes that's right. and yours throws me, it like yeah. a grenade. Let me bring that up. So yeah, if I do that and I, it literally just tosses it yeah. like sort of chinks in the ground like tink, tink, tink and then, it, you know, it kind of explodes. Yeah, right? and mine's a, like a time bomb and the cleric, which is actually like a really cool character. I like it a lot. Um, has like a smoky damage over time cloud and, you know, we all have different weapons. Yours is a melee focused class. Mine's ranged. And the cleric's something in between. Oh, there's that switch. It's yeah. on the other side of the floor. Oh, look at this, yeah. This, the, so that was actually right there. You see how the door kind of opened yeah. outward. Uh, that's pretty cool, I think, because that was also somewhat new to Doom. Because pre previously, it would just move the piece up, up or mm. down. But it actually swings out. So I'll let you take him from a yeah. distance. How, so how did you... Uh, oh, jeez. How did you strafe again? It was... Uh, Hold R button. Or the trigger, sorry. Oh, trigger. And then... And then move left and right the analog stick. Oh, you can't do both at the same time. You can't like circle. Doom. You can't actually uh, like, circle strafe. Yeah, oh, that... Oh, no. That's... Yeah, I know. That's it's not, not, it's not, <laughs> not optimal. That is not optimal. Oh, they call them flechettes. Uh, so, uh, fun fact for those watching... Uh, the first, one of the first retro videos I ever made... I've seen. ...was the Hexen video about yeah. the Hexen on the Sega Saturn. And this was... Before I was doing videos on Digital Foundry, yeah. when we were still just doing articles, I actually did this this one here, and it's mm -hmm. like if you check it out, it's uh here. Well, it's 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 cool. I, I watched that before. It's pretty bad. I, I like it. What did you call it? Like the port corner? Or the... Yeah, and I got some things wrong in there, and it's just it's eh. it's very subpar. But we all make mistakes. It was my first attempt at doing something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, so this is where we go through the portal and we start a different part of the level. And then you have to go back to that part yeah. of the level. And So this is what really separates this game, is it has a hub system. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we were just out in the hub, and then we entered this door, and then we're in a different level. And you can actually go back to the hub, basically in and out of levels. Yeah. Which is sort of a non-linear progression, which is not at all like <laughs> Doom or Heretic. No. Or really most other Doom engine style games of this era. Uh, and there's uh, a lot of the... Doom has like secrets and stuff like that, uh, but secrets are sometimes the way you almost get past levels in this game. There's... Uh, yeah. It's very cryptic, and uh, it'll just tell you kind of... Uh, when you hit a button, there will be text that will come up on the screen, like you can see at the top. I think it shows up on John's screen um, here. And it'll say like, a door has opened. And you're like, yep. what? <laughs> uh, Which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it, it, I actually think he Her or the Hexen Two does a better job than Hexen One overall in terms of uh, making logical sense. Yes, it, it's, uh -oh. it's uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, this level here, like I think later on, there's like a they use that Doom sector lighting kind of stuff or drawn in lighting to like show a sword on the ground later that we both have to like walk along so oh, you just got crushed a little we, bit yeah but what are, oh there it is uh, there's the arrow see yeah 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 it's see like, yeah what is that one so yeah yeah um, okay so I hit a switch which triggered that which opens another door and outside. now yeah now we should be able to go outside or maybe it's the one that opens up the staircase on the, in the middle section oh yeah let's we'll find see out. there's the, no oh wait so this is where I get you get your second weapon and I get mine too my, okay. uh, oh, it's up there. Yeah, yeah. So I get frost shards, which okay. and, and this uses actual mana as well too. And you get the the axe. Yeah, which is yours has a slight ranged attack, and it's it's actually a really good weapon. Yeah. Okay. So what did that do? Yeah. Well, so did did we just get the weapon, or did another door open? Ah, uh, oh, I think another door opened. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. This one. Oh yeah, this does have some range. That's right. Yeah. 
Also, uh, kind of Turok style in the hub areas, I think, of the maps, enemies respawn. Yeah. Whoa, right. I think you hit me and I did a crap oh, ton of damage. Sorry. It's all right. I, I can always use my. Oh, look, there's this the floating vials everywhere. <laughs> so get, get those vials. I've got. I got them. So what do you think of this port so far, then? Uh, this is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's it's actually very reasonable. I was expecting worse, but seeing it again, especially with this two-player co-op mode, this is actually very playable. It's actually really cool. I'm um, having fun with this. Because, uh, and, and you know, Doom Engine games on PC, you're not having a split screen. No. Uh, so this is rare and really cool, and... Uh, this game plays better in co-op than it does in single player, in my yeah. opinion. Oh, yeah. So, actually, wait. That looked like a secret here. Oh, you already hit the button. I hit the button, yeah. But look, th there's like a... Oh, it's just a thing on the wall. Uh, never mind. I this opened. It. Okay. Ah, uh, look. Portal. You want to do the honors? Uh, or which, no. which one did you go to? It's over here? Or... Let's, well, let's play a new game. Can you find me? Oh, there. <laughs> a there new portal. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll have to come back here again. Let's see what the, this area is called. Boom. All right. This loading screens are interesting. Guardian of Fire, Guardian of Ice. Yeah. So I, wait, you must brave searing something. Yeah, it's a very uh, like a game master talking to you kind of Yeah, I like thing. it. Oh, this is oh, this the, area sucks, by the way. Oh, shoot. You're going to maybe die. Maybe we'll die. Let's jump up here. Jump. Oof. Okay, okay. And we have to go. You have to always... Uh, there's like stray front is something I would do on PC here. But uh, I have the Falcon Shield. I have to... Activate some of you, you pick up these nice items over time, My, and uh, you have to use them to make yourself not die in some instances because they there's like one that makes you float, uh, so you can cross chasms. There's my, my secondary weapon is actually not as good as yours. How do I switch my weapons? Oh no, <laughs> yeah, there's oh, that's okay, so that's uh, oh, the map slows the frame rate down, yeah, okay, so that does that. I, I don't need or want that. This was the challenge of these games back then is uh mapping a keyboard to a yeah. controller. Well there was a it's a non standard layout. Like yeah. you don't you can't just say, oh, this is how the game works like most modern games and you know, maybe that's not the best thing, but it's fine. N sixty four controller is crazy. Uh, have you fi figured out how to switch weapons yet, honestly? Um because uh, I Yes. What was it? It's uh the right yellow button. Ah okay yeah because my secondary weapon here is not as useful as yours. Mine just freezes enemies so, oh. they, so they can be uh, destroyed. Uh, okay, hold on. I think we gotta run quick across this. It already broke that, so I'm gonna have to uh, take the long way. I don't know actually if I can jump that. Let's see here. I took some damage. Wait, look, look, stop. Yeah, there's to your left. To left. Yeah. Switch. Yeah, I can maybe go across there if I jump to it. So let me. <laughs> Whoa. Press okay. jump to restart. Let's let's see what that does. I hope it okay. just respawns me at the yeah. beginning of the level. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's that's very friendly. Um, that's very much so like actually the PC. Okay, I actually works. got over here to hit yeah. the switch, but not the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> okay, that opens that. Ooh, the flame okay. mask. Is it over here? You need the fire yeah. key. That's what we're gonna. You, you the fire key? Did you pick up the flame no, mask? No, I got the flame okay. mask. Okay, so man. So Once where again. are you at? Uh, I'm coming towards you. I'm back out in the main room here. Okay, no, see, so you don't need to go. There. I don't need to go there anymore. Thank here, you. Here, this way. Come up here. Yeah, Wait. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, Just follow me here. This is. If you go down this hallway and hug the left wall yeah. over here, and there's a little. You can mask get to the right? flame. You can get to the flame mask okay. as well. Yeah. Rabbit. So be careful. Stay oh, right. Daddies. Oh, they're, they're back. Yeah. Some of them pop up from the floor below. You know, it's not easy uh, when you Ew. can't strafe at this. <laughs> it's not easy being me. Um, <laughs> when you have to choose between strafing or moving, like old strafe modifier games. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not easy. That's right. I'm so, so we happy. don't have the flames. <laughs> We don't have the flame. We have the flame. We have the mask of fire. Not the flame key. What I, do I have any items? No, I don't. Oh, there's a switch here. One third of the puzzle has been solved. So, okay. Okay. Uh, on the seven portals. Okay. So. Oh, so F7 map. portals is, is in the beginning. Yeah, that's the so we have hub. To, okay. So maybe so we go back to the hub. Yeah, let's go back to the hub, and then I think maybe 
Maybe this is the time when one of the things changed there. Oh, yeah. Let's find out. It's interesting, though, that they do have these loading screens that are... I think that's different than... That is different. Yeah. It doesn't have that at all. PC version. All right. So did this raise anything or do anything? No, maybe not yet. Uh, it could be another one of the, the doors opened. It could be... None of those doors are open. Oh, uh, I think this new door opened. Yeah. Yeah? There's a new door open. Okay. Yeah. That looks, if there's enemies there, that's got to be it. Because I think only the two-headed... No, there's a switch. So I hit that. So, so yeah, this... You're a, you're a beast, John. You know what you're doing. I love this... this this game is so interesting for sure. <laughs> it's, it's I'm actually great. getting into this, playing yeah. this here. And it is so weird to see this mix of filtered objects and non-filtered objects, and it is optional. Oh yeah, right? Let's talk about that too. We, I don't think we really have, right? I get, I don't know if we mentioned, we may have mentioned it earlier, but yeah, you could do the zoom or the smooth mode, and they call this zoom mode. Yeah. Which is odd. Basically unfiltered textures. Yeah. Oh, here, I'll just enter the portal. Yeah, please do. Okay. I was like, Cold no idea where steel, you once serving the might of Hexen, now stands. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was doing my voiceover. Sorry, Chad. I was. Um, this is where they introduce you oh. to the, the really cool enemies that block your shots. More like, look at this light they do. Oh, oh how they're that like changing really the cool. sectors. Yeah, I like Hexen. Uh, I know some people disagree with me, but I like Hexen more than Heretic. Uh, Mainly because I just find, you know, Heretic a bit, like, Doom-like, and this is different, and I guess I just I like them both, but yeah, I actually think this one's a little bit better. Um, Hence, Beyond Heretic. Yeah, Hex and Beyond Heretic. What do you think of Heretic 2? Uh, not so much, but... I like it. It's okay, um... One thing I, I really like about uh, Heretic better than Hex and 2 is the, uh, the cover art of the game is amazing. Uh, if you've ever seen Heretic's cover art. Uh, Hexen is just kind of like, I don't know, like a dude in a robe standing there yeah and heretic has this really awesome like wait come here yeah oh do i actually get lit up in the sector no stop i'm oh, sorry you're just a dude in a room <laughs> <laughs> uh and you're a half naked barbarian that's true uh, yeah who looks like, like real life. <laughs> who looks like conan the barbarian uh like yeah i love the art in this game a lot of different enemy types uh oh, he's some are harder to, you know, beat than others. They have their own little special attacks. I like how I can just swing through, through the window. A, through a window and shoot electricity through a window. I guess so, this one where we have, there's a, on the sides here, we have to hit these and, and they open up things in the middle. Oh, recall. maybe go go to the other switch. Yeah. And let's hit them at the same time to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, this, the game is, you know, co-op, so. Uh, it should, uh, we have to go into the middle section, essentially. And I think um, when you hit one of these things, uh, these switches, it opens up to the middle section and we go down below, if I recall. I should, I swear this should be like here. This is where it opens up. Tick. And this is where, oh, wait, I found the- Oh yeah, it go opens the side, oh, the middle side. Door. And you have to press, uh, yeah, right there. You have to press on them, yeah. right? Ta-da, yeah. okay. That's good, thanks. Okay, so we're both coming from different sides. I'm sure we'll meet up shortly. Yeah, there you are. The, the player damage, though, my my it's scary. It's scary. It's, that would be an accident. I'm using is intense. Yeah, I my my second weapon is not as good as my third. Uh, my second my third weapon is like lightning attack, which does chain damage. Oh uh, yeah. And yours, I think, is a hammer. Yeah, I think so. Or, and then or maybe that's another class, but I get yeah. it confused. Just the fact that there's different classes like this really is, again, yeah. very unique for this style of game. Yeah. Okay, we need the steel key. Uh, the steel key is, uh, so wait a second. There's a section here. I think we actually have to go back now and go into the other door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You might be right. Oh, wait, no, we have to go down here. This is an elevator. And it should be B, right? Yep. And then... It's gonna bring us back up before we have to go down again. That's the wrong way. Okay. Wait for the no. Come on. You can do it. Or they're not going to. Come on, video game. I think we gotta open it, <laughs> and step then go out, and then you step right back in. Triggers. No? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh... This feels right, but also wrong. Yeah, okay. no. yeah, yeah. 
Nope. That's not right. Wait, let me, let me leave. Wait, wait. You stand in there, and I'm going to go back away from it and go to the system. Unless it was just intended to bring an enemy into the map. No, because it's... Yeah, so you're oh, there right now. Now turn around. Uh, there's one behind you. Right there. Yeah, okay. and you have to go in there, and it's on the left or right-hand side. You have to be careful, though. You have to, like... Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Try to come down as well. No, wait. I know what it is. So what? you... Okay. You stay down oh, there's there. there's a switch. Yeah, yeah. Oh. you have to stay down there, and I have to hit the other button now. Stay down there, just seriously, okay. and I'll hit the other button. Let me just get out of here. What is the button to get out of It's very tight corridors down here. Yeah, it needs to. Um, right there. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm clipping through it there. That was weird. Uh, hmm. Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to hit the other button, and it's going to lower and raise the platform. So, hit this one. Oh, See yeah. that? There that's you go. so cool. Um, and that's where you should get. Uh, you can hit another button there, right there. And then one third of the puzzle has been solved uh, on the seven portals. So, so, you need to still get the steel key, which is now in the middle section between both of them. Okay, can you go hit the other button? Uh, yeah, wait, let me see. What, yeah, wait, what is having, hitting this button do now? Does that actually open it? Try it. I just hit it. Hit it again. Not to do anything for you, so you have to wait one second. Let me hit the other one. Which means go down. Uh, uh, here. Yes. Come straight across. Take him out. In his dither glory. <laughs> I know. My, my damn... You know what? Speaking of dither glory. Oh, we, oh shoot, well, no, no, stop, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, well. Are you. I'm stuck. Hit it again. Uh, Go to the other switch. Oh. Uh, okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's go back out to the seven portals. Yeah, let's go back out to the seven portals. Uh, we'll not get the steel key at the moment. Um, I don't even think the steel key really offers us that much uh, that no. I require, that we require. Um, but uh, we were noticing earlier that this game has, uh, looks like transparency. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, this door's open now. Perfect. Okay. Yay! Uh, which it does have transparency, like, even on the PC. Yeah, which, uh, I, you know, software rendering transparency. I, yeah, I had forgotten about that and was surprised. And yeah, it's here as well on 64. They're not necessarily visible right now. No, if, uh, if I was playing the cleric uh, class, you could see it a bit. And also, there's just, like, these flying uh, priest-looking characters. Yeah, they, they kind of look like they have it. Oh no, is this the, the slippery ice area? Ahead of us, yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's pretty bad, actually. Uh, we have to jump up here, and the ice monsters too do quite a lot of damage. Oh, see, like avoiding damage when you can't strafe is not Hard. easy. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I I do like the way the, the monsters die though into like almost like physics shards that float down a little bit. Yeah, ice physics in games like when you oof. Yes. Thank you, John. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it doesn't really tell us much. Nope. Oh, yeah. This one is just... There's uh, sections of the level that fall away here, and you can fall to your death, if I recall. You might be right. So be careful. I'm going to actually use my items, which I don't actually have. Oh, no. It seems like in co-op, though, there's less of a consequence for dying. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. In the original version, you'd be having your saves and everything like that. Oh yeah, look at this. We yeah. This. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's, sorry. that's that, Yeah, I think your weapon does so much damage that I would get absolutely destroyed if you hit me with it. Mm. Oh, it's just a torch and I fell. Oh, I didn't fall to my death. Uh, the to oh yeah, yeah, it didn't do that much damage. That's not bad. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. One way I would describe, okay, so I really like uh, Hexen's sound palette, at least on PC, uh, the music-wise, uh, but yeah. the, the the sound effects, like Doom before it, are really meaty. Like, when you hit a dude with your weapons, yeah. he makes, like, a it. really meaty sound. It's uh, very, I just, oh. Oh, sorry, I maybe probably should have uh, just wanted to get on it with you, if I can. Is there yeah. enough space? No, there isn't. Okay, you go up first. One at a time. All right. <laughs> One at a time. Keep your distance. Yeah. 
okay, now you can. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, eh, it's designed around co-op in a, in a way where you have to, you know, work together. And at this time, you know, what, you would be typing to each other, I guess? Uh, yeah, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. You know, like across your network uh, on PC otherwise. But, you know, like local play co-op for this is really good. And then the widened, you know, slightly widened FOV, I guess. Yeah, that actually helps a lot here. Yeah. Surprisingly Boy, that's a da awesome. That's a damage turret. Mm -hmm. Th that'll keep awesome. firing over and over again. So I got the torch, but... And it, it teleported you somewhere, too, it looked like. Right? Oh, you're right, it did. Wait, no. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. So the, actually, that torch is not... Oh, it ha added a... So, that's right. Hex Hexen has invisible... Um, uh, what do you call it? It's invisible bridges. And that's one of them that you just saw right there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, like, I can walk across it. It's like a little floating thing in the air. Yes, it's quite it. interesting. It is cool. I'm going to take the elevator up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump back here. Oh, gosh. It's not easy. So, what did the torch do? Is it one of your cl collectible items? Did yeah. you hit Z? It is. I guess it, I guess it lights up an area? Uh, let's uh, find out. But yeah, it does. Okay, so it's the night vision goggles from yeah, Doom. Yeah, the night vision goggles. Woo! Um, there are cooler ones. There's like, well, you know, like things that give you full mana, things that give you like full HP, tiny bits of HP. There's some that like cause enemies to teleport across the map and things like that. Oh, okay. And um, you also can spawn minions with one, like a giant minotaur. I like how the torch though only applies to my screen. Yeah, right? For some reason Actually, I... wait, where are you? Maybe, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, it makes you see better. That's, it just changes, yeah, like the values of the sector but, lighting. But think if this was not just such a straight port. Uh, could have done real dynamic lighting. Like Doom sixty four. This game would look really cool with it because it's got this like, you know, art style that you know, it's like low tech and everything like that. It would look really cool. I agree. Yeah, kind of quake like it would look like then. I honestly, I'm sorry. I'm just like going in circles here because. It's not exactly easy to tell where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a button Wait. over here. Oh, we're, ah. look, we, we're we back in that other area we visited earlier. Oh, yeah, you Where we right. came out from another another entrance, basically. Okay, wait, I'm going to hit a button here that has yet to be hit. I don't know what it did because it's hexing. Oh, man, this is cool. I like exploring this level. We're both in the same stage. I know, but different, different areas. areas. Like... It's very different than Doom because Doom is about like clearing areas to right, get together. To the end. Yeah, I know. It's like it's very different. This is more about exploring the stage, trying to understand how to progress. Yeah, and this is also a game where, honestly, back in the days of strategy guides, this is a game that was like calling for benefit. strategy guides. <laughs> it's a uh, no. Okay, so I hit that button and it did something that I'm not sure about. Uh, so there's no reason to be in this room anymore. But there's like this little bit of the wall here that steps out. I don't know. I don't know what path is for. Whoa. What was that area? Was that a secret? Just a dark area. Just a dark That's how area. I got back to the okay. first stage. I guess... Uh, so we already grabbed the torch. And they want you to have the torch for a reason. Maybe. Yeah, right. It could also just be like... Here's a cool utility item that we put yeah, in the Yeah, see, this level right? is just like this nightmare maze. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Hexen. Okay. Yeah, I guess Raven Software is also pretty cool in terms of the games they've always made. Nowadays, they're working on uh, the Call of Duty franchise. And they're, yeah, sadly. Um, yeah, I would also say sadly, too, because, you know, they're this is like... Oh, yeah, thank you. This just shows their quality. Have you been up here before? Yep. All right, well, once oh, I get oh, here. Oh. <laughs> One at a time, please. <laughs> One at a time. Uh, oh yeah, look at all these corpses. That's very Doom. House of a Thousand of them. Mm. Oh wait, there's a bunch of dudes over here. Uh oh. This is, looks new. Oh, I hit the button earlier oh. downstairs, so this might have opened up. Yeah, okay. I was through here. Okay, so maybe... Look, they're... if you go forward, this ah. brings us back out here. Oh, here. Recognize. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, so wait, maybe now there's, oh, wait. there's the... Do we have the other keys here? Or... Oh, oh this is a new room. area. Where'd you go over there? Uh, on the side. Uh, where was it? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, da, 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 da. Over here. No, wait. no, there's an arrow pointing to a secret wall. Ta da. Oh, yeah. Exactly straight ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Sorry. No, yeah. No, stop. Stop. Turn around. Okay, straight ahead. Literally straight ahead on the other side of the steps. Mm, I see. Yes. Right here. 
very cool. Yeah. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> party on, dudes. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the party, Richter. There's, yeah. Whatever. Oh, there's that key. So here, mm, there's probably something we need to do. Of course. That is not straightforward well, necessarily. No. There's that. So it's, maybe there's a button. Let's take a look here. There's usually a button. Uh, on the left and right hand side? That, that'd be a doomish thing to do. Okay. Oh, man, I, Whoa. I do love this game though. Pretty, oh, here we. Wait, I think I see one. Bam. Hit a button. You Whoa. got it. Oh, so this is the part where the. Wow. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. The crusher? Yeah, the crushinator got me. Let's, I'm gonna start. I guess I could start using my freeze weapon, but it's not oh, no. super useful when you can't really quickly switch your. But do I already have weapon. a key now? I should, right? Did you grab it? Did yeah, you grab it? I got it. I think it should uh, keep in your inventory in this game. You don't have to pick it up after you die. So, Excellent. which key was it? The steel key. The steel key. Okay, so now we need to go back to um, that area where I opened the door for you while you were in that one place, if you recall. So how do we get out of here? Uh, gosh. That's a good question. Oh, wait. So wait. Um, hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Here, over here. Oh, oh. This is open. Hey, this is very. Okay. Okay. No. We already hit that. Uh, -da. Here. There's a switch over here that I think we did. Oh, not here. Hit. Oh, here we go. This is this room. Okay, so there. That's the airy. Um, so now we need to go up to jeez yeah the respawning enemies too okay so mm. oh here we go found it yeah is, are you down below did you go no, below no or? no I, there's another uh, way it's, that's okay yeah, I, yeah. I think I can get to the exit from here yeah yeah because we need to go so I'm back to this room if I go here yes yes and we need to go now from here we need to go to the steel guardian so this isn't the most technical playthrough but this is kind of fun oh, yeah yeah uh, okay, so now where did the steel key? Where was it required? Uh, we need to go to the steel guardian area, and there's a keyhole there. Uh, but we. I don't remember which which one. Which of one? Them. This one's a new one that opened up just now, by the way. So this is going to be a different area altogether. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. We can yeah. check it out. Yeah, we can check it out. Man. We're slowly piecing this together. There, there. I mean, every single time I play Hexen, and I've. It always feels like the Guardian first time. Guardian of Steel, look. Oh, so oh. it is Guardian of Steel. It's good. Okay, so... Oh, it's the other side. Yeah, okay. Boom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. It is the other side. You're right. Nice. Uh, and in that room, that after we open it up over here, there'll be a keyhole in the bottom. We should be able to open it up. I bet people are watching this and getting frustrated at seeing me play, but believe me, it's, it's not so easy on this controller always. No, it's really not. It's just, you know, you have to... Doom 64 actually plays much better. Oh, yeah. So you I use mean, the C buttons to move, and the analog stick changes your... Your aim and stuff. Your aim. That's, that's, or this is like you move, you turn left and right and move forward and back using the analog stick. Yeah, I'm actually going to use my freeze weapon on them. It actually works pretty well. And then switch over, because it can cause them to... Ah, I don't need My, my base weapon, since it is ranged, is one of the few ranged weapons that she starts off with. Um, it's pretty weak. So this, is that area. Okay. so this is the steel key area. You, you have it? Yeah. So go along the other side. That You went along the, uh, the other side of the opening area. So go back up to where you just came from. Okay. And then come back. To both. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, you're in the wrong. Oh, wait. Yeah. That's, oh, that's a steel key door as well, too. Or was that the... I think there was a, that was eight. That, no, this is it. Uh, so yeah, you're in the wrong area, unfortunately. Okay, well, let's, well, I haven't been here yet, yeah. so let's see. That's yeah, yeah. You have to find another switch, which is on the other side, and I don't want to open it uh, while you're not there. So okay. come back up, because last time when I opened it, when you were there, didn't no, it's it? fine. Go oh, ahead. you're fine. Okay, okay, good. Because like last time it crushed you to death. Yep. It's because I was standing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's cute. It's like I don't want to crush John. 
Okay. Just my friend. Okay. Stairs have risen this is on not the seven, seven portals. portals. But okay, now let's also use your steel key too, which you have yet to use. I think I did. I think it was this door. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Because there's a steel key right area right here, which oh, I, yeah, I need I'm coming this. back. Yeah, yeah. So I know you're in one of the uh, upper areas. Yeah. That uh, where we spawned from essentially, and you went. I'll come over to you. Yeah. So you're going up there. You have to open this door. So where am I? You have to... Okay, so... Is it over here? Wait. Maybe you were actually down there. And you just ran past me. Yeah. Oh. This is a four-sided area. Yeah. That's it. So how do I actually get to the others? Ah. Uh, Let's go back to the seven portals. Oh, wait. Here we go. I found the other side. Okay. So you're on the completely other side here, and I, since I don't have the steel key, since I never picked it up, right. and you did, I can't actually access a lot of the areas you can. I, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just, I, you just went backwards through the yeah, area yeah. we went through. So let's go back to the seven portal. So that was this, that was it. I was in there anyway. So yeah, all right. That's cool. I mean, the persistent item stuff is makes you have to really work together. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it slowed down for a second. That was weird. For the N64, it's not that weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Yeah. The stairs have risen. Uh, you and I were playing through some PS1 stuff last night, just watching you play and stuff. Uh, a lot of the N64 games we loaded up this morning run quite a bit differently. Yeah, <clears> it's <throat> not exactly a system known for its fluid performance. The door opened on the Guardian of Ice. So but then it's like you have to remember which of these portal doors here, of which there are many, are actually the, the, the Guardian ice. of Ice one. Is there... Is there a thing on the well, door that tells you which one? Like, is there an easy way to tell? You go into it. Guardian no. of Steel. Uh, we can turn around. That's all right. Party of Mice. Uh. Oh, actually, you know what? There is an easy way to tell. Do you recall the ice area actually looked icy? Oh, from... it does as you go through it. Yeah. Right. That's a I good I think it's one. the center door. Yeah, let's take a look. Actually. Yeah, so let's go across. So it should be one of these center doors here. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. And you have to go through the portal up there to get to the Guardian of Ice. I wonder if anybody's still watching this video. If you are, uh, write heretic is 1337. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Come find us on Twitter. Yeah. And tell us that. Tell us how awesome heretic is. Yeah. And which version of heretic you, you played back in the day. Or if you've ever played heretic at all. Yeah. Or Hexen even. Or did I say heretic? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, so, they, have, they have like the same sprites, basically. It's just, you know, I, I don't fault you. Heretic, Hexen, they begin with H. H is... You know, That's right. Okay, so... Through these, one of these... Uh, oh, wait, this is one where we turn... Oh, no, is it? No, 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 I'm sorry. It said a door, a door is opened, opened in the part... In the... <sighs> door is open. Okay, I know. I think I know where to go. Is it, wait. Through this one, right here? No, so it's not there. <gasps> it's not there. It's up here, back through here. Okay, well, let's see come up there. Um, so it's not going to be in this room, but it's going to be down here. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm. I actually don't know. Because the guardian vice is big. Okay, you know what? You go down there. We, there's no reason why we. Uh, don't, oh yeah. Don't need to split up. Oh wait. I'll go search if there's a door that opened over here on the Guardian of Ice. Because it's big. Yeah, it's please. so big. Let's, uh, the, let's divide up the task. Okay, so there's a little I'm smacking here. my view against walls <laughs> because that's what you do in yeah, this ooh, game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love those noises when you hit the what wall. What a game this is. I know, it's great. Okay, so. Okay, come on, elevator. Okay. Up we go. Oh no, you left. I didn't. Oh, because it's the. I'm sorry. It's the thing on the floor that doesn't yeah. actually look like a portal. Exactly. Let's go back. Uh, we can go back over here and go back to the guardian of ice. My bad, everyone. Okay. Jump up there. Avoid the thing on the, the floor. Noid. <laughs> Avoid the noid. Ta da! Okay. Back to Guardians. We have Guardian to beat this Lights. level. We must figure this out. I mean, uh, it's in the end, you unlock the main portal door at the opening, and then it 
brings you out to the next level. This is Ooh, new. This is new. Okay. So maybe stepping on that plate was the right move. Actually, it got us back in the right direction. Like Sandy Peterson level. It's like you have to go backwards. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's a switch. Oh. oh, gosh. This is not a good area to be in for my character. I, like, have lower base armor than you, so I take more damage when I get hit and things like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. My character's not good. You keep, oh, yeah, if you freeze him like that, I can... Yeah, smash him up. Oh, well, yeah, that's a lot. What the heck? Yeah, it's... I don't know. Oh, I see that. Useful? Oh, wait. Oh, you can destroy them. I think you have to switch back from your axe to your fist there. Maybe oh. it does a different damage type. Oh, wait, type. look. Oh, nice. This brings us to the Guardian of Steel. Through the ice. I guess it's going to bring us to a new area. In the oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Okay, my ice uh, weapon here is very ineffective again. So I gotta be okay. Intense. Oh, my gosh. It's this really interesting how... I I always am amazed seeing this every time, just the way they interleave the stages together. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty, it's pretty smart. It's extremely, like, this must have been very difficult to design back in the day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use some of my potions because... Oh, me too. Yeah, the use potion button is bottom, right? Yeah. yeah. I've barely been using any of our items uh, because... It's not easy to access them. Uh, when okay, you want now them. I think there's a way to go down over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did you do? Is it lowered? Oh, wait. So oh, you're no. back in the Guardian of Steel area, which you maybe, maybe you actually want to be there because there's a center area in the Guardian of Steel area. We're in the center area. Um. No. Wait. Uh. Sorry. Oh. It's uh, so like here you can see into it. You have to go, you have the steel key, so I have to follow you. I don't have the steel key, so I do have to follow you to actually actually have anything happen. I see what you're saying. It's the center area here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but how? Uh, there's no obvious door. Oh, I, I think I know what it is. Uh, okay, you know that the elevator you went down there? Yeah. You have to go down that elevator, and there's a center portion uh, you can go on either left or right-hand side, depending upon how I open the... Uh, oh my gosh, this game is so complex sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I have to hit... You know, like how earlier I hit one of the um, switches up here to yeah. open that part down there? There's a center area. Like, you just walk past it. Yeah. This you is can where see, I got... Oh. Oh, see you right there? That's new. That's it. You're going to have to kill all the dudes there. It's okay. Yeah. My axe. Yeah, Man, I don't have the steel key... Uh, steel thing, so I can't really come to you. But that's... Whoa. Like, yep. This is all new. I don't uh, know. And quartz flask. I guess that would. I don't know what it gives you though. Like, what's the purpose of it? It may bring you to a new area. It brings us to the seven portals. Maybe going through there uh, did something. Let's find out. I mean, usually it says at the top of the screen, uh, it did this. It didn't open. Yeah. And hitting the button. And the steps were already up, so. There is a. Oh, wait, there, but there's new guys down here. There's. Steps have to open up on the other side, too. There's two steps. Oh, my goodness. Well, Ooh. sir. Yeah. What I do think you think? We, we might want to call it. <laughs> and I'm sure we can continue to make progress with some more work, but uh -huh. I guess I'm amazed that we managed to get into this as much as we did. It's a, it's a great game. It's oh, oh, this looks new to me. No, that's just the steps. Is it? It's not the different steps? Or, wait, it's it is. Different. It's different steps. Uh oh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh wait. Oh wait. This is. We've already been here. Never mind. Oh wait. I lied. You're right. Okay. Oh, I thought I was out. You pulled me back <laughs> in, and now I'm out again. So that that was uh, the most excellent hexen. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save our progress just in case. Yeah. So what future. do you what do you think of the N64 version then? I think it's actually great because local co-op makes this game so much more fun. Uh, then, you know, online or, you know, something like that. You can see what your player is doing right next to you. I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Really impressed. So mm -hmm. that was a look at that. If you enjoyed this video, as always, uh, and you want to see more, 
these are these are kind of fun side videos that we do in mm -hmm. addition to the main videos of course but yeah it's, you know i had a good time playing it yeah. so thanks for joining me alex of course thanks John. if you guys enjoyed it uh like subscribe follow us on twitter all that stuff that we say at the end of the video you know you want to do it <laughs> or at least some of you uh and until next time stay retro Thank <laughs> you.